So Shirley Boy, in our workshops, on our courses, on our webinars, a very common question when it comes to trust are the tax rates. And talk about you get tax at 45%, so that's expensive. Uh, maybe give us your opinion on what are the benefits, the tax benefits of a trust, um, and we'll start there. Look, um, I hear that a lot where people are saying trust is actually expensive. It gets taxed at 45%. Yes, if you don't do a proper tax planning, you will be taxed at 45% which is a default tax rate for the trust. However, if you do a proper tax planning, you can actually get beautiful and actual efficient tax benefits that comes with a trust. A classical one, uh, which is a common law principle, is what you call conjured pie principle, which allows you to actually move the income through a trust to the beneficiaries of that particular trust, where you find that actually those uh, beneficiaries can actually be taxed more efficiently at the lower rate as compared to the trust. So in most cases, we always say that a trust should, should always, if you are planning your things efficiently, should always be the last taxpayer to be taxed, which means that you can actually look at, at various ways to move money around so that the trust at the end of this, the one to be taxed last, which country principle actually allows you to do that. Absolutely. And Shirley Boy, um, another question is, when investors are buying and selling, they're flipping properties. Yes. Is it still beneficial to flip through a trust or should they do it through a company? You, you can. It depends on the circumstances. Let's, let me give you a scenario. If, let's say, for instance, a, uh, the beneficiaries of, that chart, uh, of the trust are minors, which in this particular, who are minors who are not actually generating any form of income. So you can already know that they will be sitting at probably zero tax rate, right? Yeah. So if you flip a property through the trust, can you see that using the conjured pie principle that I just alluded to, you can actually distribute that particular income to the beneficiaries who are minors, who actually can even enjoy tax-free uh, threshold of about 99,000 as, as, as it is currently. So which means that if, let's say, for instance, the flipping pr profit is about 300,000 and you've got beneficiaries who are about maybe four of them, you can actually split that 300,000 to them, and then you can see that what they're going to get each of them is actually below tax free threshold. Can you see that is the beneficiaries that are actually yes. in potential more more likely are not going to be taxed as compared to if you just retain that money actually into the trust, the trust will be the one that is taxed at forty five percent. So it's a matter of say getting involved with the tax planner to say how do I move this money around, you? which means that you can still flip the property through the trust. You just need to actually. Do more tax planning yes. after you've done that. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much.